Eric, what do you believe uh, Ukraine's motive is uh, behind uh, asking for urgent EU membership? Is, to, is it to facilitate more arms supplies to resist Moscow or even to pave the way for NATO troops? Uh, NATO has made it very clear that there's not going to be NATO troops um, in Ukraine. What Ukraine is asking for um, is assistance, both financial assistance, economic assistance, humanitarian assistance, but also military assistance uh, to resist um, and fight back against this Russian invasion, uh, to not um, cave in and, and negotiate some kind of settlement, but really to fight back and defend itself and defend its, its sovereign right to do so. And I think it's pretty remarkable um, that, you know, a couple of weeks ago, it would have been really unthinkable um, to imagine that, number one, Russia would invade Ukraine, but number two, that Western countries would really step up and provide military assistance to Ukraine in ways that they are beginning to do, now, do so now, including uh, from the European Union uh, and countries like Germany, uh, providing military assistance and even providing, you know, lethal, lethal military weapons to Ukraine. So I think this is really what, what the Ukrainian government is looking for as it is trying to defend itself against an army uh, that is much bigger than its own, um, namely Russia. So it is looking for, for that type of military assistance, both missiles, um, anti-tank grenades, uh, equipment, anything it can, it can have to kind of push back against those uh, Russian forces that are currently invading Is EU membership, the does it necessarily follow that uh, NATO membership is next if Ukraine is granted a membership into the European Union? And is that going to uh, vindicate uh, President Putin's position all along and uh, force him to push even harder? I think one of the issues that the Western countries, the European Union and the United States have made clear is that the open door policy for NATO uh, should remain open. But it's very clear to, to everyone looking at this that NATO membership or EU membership for Ukraine is, is not on the table anytime soon. It's, you know, it's, it's just simply not something that is a feasible option for Ukraine. Um, so, you know, I don't think that this is necessarily changing any of that, but I do think that we'll see you know, Western countries continuing to support Ukraine because they realize that this crisis in Ukraine is not just about Ukraine. It really is about the European security order and really international order more broadly. And that's why I think you're seeing countries that were even skeptical a couple of weeks ago, like Germany now doubling down, trying to support Ukraine um, and push back against Russia, uh, including, again, through military assistance. But that doesn't necessarily mean, however, um, that EU or NATO membership as such is on the table for Ukraine. But you are going to see, I think, uh, increased assistance to Ukraine, both military and financial and otherwise um, um, in, the coming, in the coming weeks and months, especially as these, this crisis um, you know, potentially takes a toll for, for the worst.